All right, welcome. Uh, my name's Jim from Return Solutions. I wanted to take a few minutes to um, go over the accounting and finance program, Return Solutions, uh, which obviously can save your business a lot of money. I um, basically uh, am a shop owner myself and uh, been in business for about 27 years. I struggled with uh, accounting and finance and um, over the years, I, I learned and I developed systems, and the systems um, turned out to be uh, pretty nice. So I, I decided uh, if I could just find someone that could uh, turn this into a program, and I ran into a gentleman by the name of Shaw, and him and I decided we'd partner up, and he wrote the program, and I designed the program. So. Let me go over the program with you just a little bit to give you an idea of what the potential is of this program and uh, what it can do for you. There's another report here for uh, returns, which um, is very similar to what I showed you earlier, but this one is actually color coded to indicate that um, that, re that return is getting a little bit outdated that you better uh, give it some attention. Uh, reconciliation, this is huge. I don't know how many of you sat down at the end of the month and take all your supplier statements and all your invoices and check to make sure there's no fraudulent activity. You want to um, verify that what's on the statement matches the invoices that you have received. I know my wife enjoys it. You know, it takes several hours on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Uh, some of you may be in a position to have an employee do it for you, but regardless, it's costing you money to, to do that reconciliation. Um, with this program, you would basically scan the supplier statement, convert it to a PDF, upload it into the program, and the program would uh, verify it with all the information that you've entered into the program uh, over a certain date range and uh, give you a report of what could not be verified. So at that point, it's up to you to contact that supplier and say, hey, I've been billed for a part. I don't have an invoice number for it. Um, you know, either you lost the invoice or the uh, part was accidentally billed to your account and uh, you never received the part. Or maybe you got an employee that's using your account and uh, purchasing parts. Uh, so you're looking for any kind of uh, fraudulent activity. So there's a lot of money that can be lost there. A lot of time involved in doing this um, reconciliation. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, special reports. You've got the um, owner break even report. And uh, so basically, uh, some of you are familiar with this, some of you are not. But the owner break even report is a report that basically uh, tells you how much money you have to make to keep the lights on and keep the doors open. And that goes back to what I talked about earlier when you selected that fixed expense. Uh, that uh, was all there to make the owner's break even report data accurate. So on the uh, owner's break even report, uh, basically, um, it takes a certain amount of money to open the doors, you know, to pay the utility bills and the rent and so on and so on. So if your owner's break even is $10,000 a week, you know, you have to make $10,000 that week just to pay the bills. So once you reach that $10,000 mark, then you're starting to make money. Um, so owner's break even report is just a good tool to let you know uh, how much money you got to make each week to keep the doors open and it gives you kind of a goal to to keep yourself uh, moving in the right direction so you don't find yourself um, in hot water. Uh, let's go down here to the usage report. Uh, this uh, usage report is a great report. Uh, basically 
I'm going to give you just a simple example, uh, your cell phone. Uh, you can pick a date range, let's say January of 2018 to January of 2019. Enter the uh, supplier uh, um, and it will pull up and it will show you how much your phone bill was for each month. So you can kind of get an idea whether your phone bill is creeping up on you or not. Another good example of this, I like to use the brake clean example. So you, listen, you're looking at brake clean usage out in the shop. So you just um, uh, type in brake clean and it'll pull up a report that shows you exactly how much brake clean you used each month or you can break it down by the week uh, or even by the day. Um, and see how much brake clean you're using and then on this graph maybe you see a spike you know brake clean usage went way up in uh, let's say March and you're thinking wow we're spending a lot more money on brake clean and then you you figure it out hey we hired that new tech back in March well then you start taking a look at him and he's out there spraying brake clean on the, the pets and and the walls and anything else he can spray it on so there's uh that could help the owner determine you know usage or if you want to check oil filters to see which ones you know your inventory you got oil filters you want to see what's moving what's not moving so you can maybe change your inventory to keep up on that but the usage reports are um, a very 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 good report uh, as a tool basically if you want to know how much money you're spending on any giving item product or so on and then the daily status report uh, this this report is used by the owner to enter in uh, his daily uh, sales uh, most programs will tell you how much you processed in sales uh, the, the previous day so you enter that in each day and instead of waiting till the end of the week to see how well you did graph wise on uh, income you can monitor your um, sales versus your uh, expenses because your expenses are all in the program so the program will look at your expenses you'll enter your daily cash out into the program and you'll see if you're trending up or down in comparison to expenses versus um, income so very good report to be on top of your uh, stats daily.